Hey everyone, how's it going? Hassan here. Got a special little video for you for Power Rangers Mega Force. This is the Power Rangers Mega Force Nintendo 3DS game. So they have a game out for the 3DS, and uh, I'm just gonna come out and say it. It's pretty terrible, honestly. Um, I have barely played the game because it's just pretty terrible. Um, but I did kind of want to sort of review it and show you a little bit of what it's about. This is not going to be like a formal review. Like, I'm not going to give a review score and, you know, I have not even been close to beating the game or anything. This is just more an overview of the game, if you will, um, and uh, kind of showing you what it's all about, giving you an idea. Um, so even though the title of the video is a review, it's more of a review of the the product itself, like an overview, I guess, and what it comes with and all of that. Uh, and I will show some gameplay, of course, uh, to give you an idea of what the game is. So anyways, here it is. I have the game in my 3DS. Uh, but first, I want to show you the... Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. I sneezed right there. Um, I want to show you the, the game box. Uh, so, let's move the 3DS out of the way. And uh, here you have it. Power Rangers Mega Force, chosen to save our world. I, I like the artwork, you know, I like this this little image of the Rangers and Robo Knights kind of in there as well. It does come with an exclusive trading card, so I will show you that. So if you do collect the cards in the action card game, uh, then you do have to get the game. So, yeah, that's kind of the main reason why I got this. Uh, but uh, anyways, it is you can play it in 2D or 3D, just like any 3DS game. Um, there really isn't much 3D. Like, the menus are 3D, but the gameplay isn't, and uh, it's barely even 3D. I, I pretty much never even use the 3D in this game. Uh, un unlock your inner mega... mega I can't even talk right now. Unlock your inner mega force. There we go. So you can morph yourself into a ranger. Um, you can scan cards for power-ups and all sorts of fun stuff. So anyways, let's open this up. Um, oh, let me show you the what the game actually looks like uh, real quick. So... There is what the game card looks like. Power Rangers Mega Force is what it says right there. So just to give you an idea of that. Um, so when you open it up, this is kind of what it comes as. There is a card in there, but it's literally, there's no protection, anything for it. It's just stuck right in here. Um, so that's kind of annoying that there's nothing, you know, in there. Luckily the card is fine, the one that I have, but um, that's kind of annoying. So I'll take a look at this in just a second. Um, but... It does come with, i just got to cover it up, a Club Nintendo thing, so I was kind of surprised about that. Seems a lot more third-party games do come with Club Nintendo codes. Uh, and it also comes with, supposedly, an instruction booklet, although there are no instructions in there. It's literally just safety features and warnings and all that fun stuff. The actual, there is a digital manual that does have instructions, like an overview of the menus and all that. So I will show you guys that stuff. But, um, there's that. Okay, uh, so on to the actual uh, little exclusive card itself. So here it is, it's promo card number 194. Um, and it is um, a shiny card. Uh, it's kind of, it's not like too shiny, so it's a little hard to see. Um, but, uh, well, it's actually, it's not really, I wouldn't even call it holographic. Um, in fact, it might not even be... Is it even shiny? I'm even, like, questioning myself now. Because it's, like, it's almost like... I don't know. It's, it's very got, like, a clean look to it. As if it was shiny, but it doesn't... It's not, like, hollow foil or anything. Um, or at least it doesn't really look that way. Um, anyways. Uh, it looks nice. Uh, that, that's all that matters. Um, and it's really cool to finally have a Megaforce team card with all six, including Robo Knight in there as well. So it says Megaforce Power Rangers. Um, so this is a pretty sweet card. Uh, I definitely think uh, this is a really nice promo card. Um, really cool. So, uh, as with the promo cards, I do want to show you the sound that they make in the Gose Morpher. So here we go. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but uh, let's see the sound that it plays. Alright, so it says Megaforce, so um, that is what that does. And then we got our uh, little app here. Is the sound even on? Oh, Ooh, that's too loud. Okay. Um, yeah, so I have the, the app here, and let's scan this thing in power card mode. Uh, card scanner. 
All right. Wow, okay, that was a uh, random power level there, but uh, that was a very long clip. I was not expecting um, that long of a clip, but that's, I guess, from Forever Red. They just had a, uh, uh, a nice long clip from there. Kind of odd to have that with this Mega Force card, but, huh, interesting. But, uh, yeah, so that's that. That's the special little promo card. So I'll put this aside because we will uh, take a look at this um, in just a second. Um, but uh, let's get the actual game here. All right, here we go. So there is, it says Power Rangers Megaforce in the, the menu there, um, and uh, does the brightness, no, it's probably too bright, I think, yeah, that might actually be best for you if I turn it down. Okay, so I'll let you listen to what it says, so. Go, go, Megaforce! So it says go, go, Megaforce, although that's not Troy's voice at all, they use other people's voices. Uh, so let's start up this game here. So this is probably going to be quite a long video because there's uh, just there's just a bunch to kind of show. Like it'll take a while to show some of these things, um, but I will just tell you right now this game sucks. So that's just a little, you know, FYI. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. It's loading, and this game has frozen on me once or twice. So um, yeah. So there's your little intro right there plays a theme song once and then it just stays quiet. Now this part's kind of confusing is the start game or initialize game. Initialize game will basically reset the game. You would think initialize is like you want to start something, but no, that just means reset. So you want to hit start game if you already have a save file. So there's go say, touch the touch screen to select. There's a couple different options here. Um, so we'll go through each of these. So there's morph in time, which lets you basically morph into a ranger. So let's do morph in time. That's not Gosei's voice at all, so that's kind of uh, weird that, uh, that he's talking like that. But uh, you can select any of the rangers to morph into. Um, let's just do red right here. So, Alright, it's going to ask me to line up my face, so let me do that real quick. Alright, whatever, that's good enough. Um, do you want to morph this photo? Yes, let's morph it. There you go, I just morphed into the Red Ranger. Now you know my secret. Earth's defenders never surrender! Pretty terrible looking little animation there. Um, Alright, he says go go Mega Force. Uh, keep this photo. Um, sure, why not? So that I don't have to keep morphing later on. Alright, so I've now morphed. Uh, there's also a card scan. So this feature lets you scan um, actual cards. So I have a bunch of random cards from the card game here, and you can scan those. So let's do that. Let's have some fun scanning some cards right now. Um, now, I will, I will tell you this. 
So down at the bottom, you'll see the different rangers. So you can initially play as the five main rangers and you can switch between them. Robo Knight comes at a later point. I have not gotten Robo Knight yet. Um, and you can actually play as the Mighty Morphin Rangers. Once you beat the game, there's a way to unlock like an alternate skin for these guys and you play as Mighty Morphin. But some of the cards, like I scanned the Black Rangers card earlier um, and it gave him a power up. Uh, but some of the other cards that you scan will allow you to power up your rangers, unlock special photo frames or classic scenes from the show, things like that. So it's asking me to align the card. Now this scanner function is absolutely terrible. Um, it's very picky. Like right now it's not going to scan this card. I'm going to take the promo card here. Um, it's just, I, I literally, like you can see how bright it is right here. But the 3DS is saying it's super dark and it's like not going to recognize anything. No matter how much I try, it's really not going to. So what I really have to do is I'm going to prop up my iPhone here, shining the flashlight on it. This thing is very picky. Like you have to be in some some bright light to really get it to, uh, to work here. So, all right, my phone is propped up, although it's sliding. It's about to fall. And, oh, is it staying? I think it's staying. Okay. Um, all right, so let me move this camera slightly so I can fit my arm in there. All right, let's try this now and see if this works. Um, no, my iPhone's not, camera's not, there we go. I'm trying to, hold on. See, this thing is very difficult because I really, you really need like a lot of light shining at it to really even work properly. Um, there we go. See, once there's bright light, then it it's like scans it instantly. Uh, but it's so picky though. Additional classic scene unlocked. So it unlocks some sort of classic scene. Alright, so that's that little promo card. We'll check that out. Um, I got a bunch of random cards here. So I have the Megaforce Red Ranger card that they used to morph. It's a promo card. Let's see what this does when I scan it in here. If it will recognize the card. That's the other challenge. And my phone just fell. It's like so picky about it, so it's... I literally have to be in such bright light. Yeah, see, this is what makes it ridiculous. And if it takes too long, I'm just gonna skip over the card, but... Um, I just want to show you how annoying scanning these cards can be. That's why I have so many cards, but I've like barely even scanned them because it's just too annoying. All right, you know what? I'm skipping that card. Uh, I was having issues with uh, with that one there, so I'm gonna skip that one. Um, all right, here we go, Dragon Zord time. Will it scan this one? Maybe, maybe not. Let me hold it like this and see. Maybe my arm is blocking the, the lights. Oops, that's wrong way. And I want to show you this whole process. There we go, because of how annoying it is. This card is... Oh, apparently I've already scanned this one. Um, let's try the Red Ranger one again. Maybe my hand was blocking that before. Although it is so picky, so it's hard to tell. Nope, still doesn't like it. All right, too bad. All right, I have this Gosei Great Megazord, promo card number one. Maybe I shouldn't have picked the hollow foil versions because maybe those are like extra shiny and so that's making it harder to, uh, to read. That's pretty lined up. If that's still not gonna work, then forget it. All right, on to uh, Red Ranger in Ultra Mode. Got this promo card. All right, that one worked. Additional classic scene unlocked. All right, so unlocked another classic scene. Uh, I wanted to try out a villain card, so I have Rock right here. So let's try out this uh, this Rock card. Oops, I just did I just exit out of that? I think I did. Card scan. All right, this is kind of awkward trying to get it to scan these cards. All right, what does Vrock do? Uh, another classic scene. So the classic scenes are basically like pictures from the show, screen caps. Um, all right, so now let's get a bit more creative. Here is another promo card. This is one of the Forever Red cards. I was curious to see 
how many of these promo cards it's actually going to scan. So let's see if it recognizes this card or not. Um, maybe it won't recognize it because it just won't scan properly because this thing it does have a ton hard time scanning. Or maybe because it just doesn't recognize this promo card. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know. It's not scanning this one, so hard to say why, but I can't get it to scan properly. So forget that one. I'm not going to spend too much time on them. Um, here is from Series 1 now, Pink Mega Force Ranger, so the Phoenix shot. I wanted to see if the Series 1 cards would scan. So let's see if they do. I feel like that's pretty aligned. I don't know why it wouldn't be scanning at this point. Come on. There we go. So it does scan those, and apparently I've already scanned this card before. Okay, I guess so. I've only scanned a couple. This was a while ago. All right, let's try the Red Mighty Morphin Ranger from Series 1. Let's see if they will scan uh, cards other than Megaforce. So we got a Mighty Morphin card right here. Um, let's see what this does. If I can get it to scan... I feel like it should be scanning, if it would work. I don't know. Looks like, uh, that's a no-go for me, at least, so... Alright, giving up on that one. Alright, let's try uh, Red Samurai Ranger from Series 1, Rise of Heroes. All right, that's scanned. And we had additional classic scene. Looks like I can see some of the Japanese kanji in the background. So it looks like you do get different scenes from different seasons, which is really cool. Um, uh, so I'm going to skip Octoroo. I had that. Let's try Robo Knight card from Series 2. So this is Series 2. Let's see if Guardians of Justice cards work in this game. So if you get the game, you can kind of tinker around with it more. I just want to give you an idea of the types of cards that will work. So it looks like you can scan cards from different seasons. Uh, the Mighty Morphin card probably would have worked if I would have tinkered with it a bit more. Um, I mean, this Robo Knight card I would think would work, but... I don't know. Alright, let's try a different card from Series 2. Um, I just really want to give you guys an idea. Mystic Force. And... Alright, forget it. Uh, that's taking up too much time. So, as you can see, the card scanning feature, that's more cards than I've been able to scan, and that's with shining a ton of direct light right on this thing. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna turn off my, my iPhone light here now, because, uh... Not needed. Um, so yeah, it's rather annoying, this whole uh, scanning card thing. Um, not very fun. It's just more annoying than anything. So, with that being said, that was a card scan feature. Oh yeah, let me show you real quick the, the instruction manual. So all 3DS games have a digital manual. So I'll press the home button. It says manual. So let's open up the manual here. Um, just one or two neat little things I did want to show. Um, so, okay. I'm already at the end of the manual, but um, let me see if I can go back. Okay, so here's the whole thing with the manual. So you have your information on the title screen, blah, 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 main menu, which I'll show you guys all that stuff. Um, you can take a photo, we know that. Um, <coughs> some of the other menu items I'll go over. Tells you about the stage select screen, and the actual gameplay in the battles. Uh, you can unlock ultra mode uh, later on in the game, so I haven't gotten that far, but you can do ultra mode. Uh, there's the different items you can collect in the game, like power cards, uh, health things. There's Gose medals that you can collect. Um, there's Megazord battles, which I have not got to yet, but I think I am very close to getting to one. It uh, just tells you the, what the result screen looks like. And then this is kind of neat, a neat little thing. The 20th anniversary shows all the different logos. So Mighty Morphin, Zeo, Turbo, In Space, Lost Galaxy... Lightspeed Rescue, Time Force, Wild Force, Ninja Storm, Dino Thunder, SPD, Mystic Force, Operation Overdrive, Jungle Fury, RPM, Samurai, Super Samurai, and Mega Force. So that's a neat little thing to put. They didn't have to put that in the manual, but just a fun thing. And then the credits here, 
in case you wanted to read through that long thing. All right, so back to the actual um, game itself. So let's load this back up and then hit resume. All right, so there we are there. Uh, down here, you have the Rangerpedia. So this will show you information about the different rangers. So there's a bio for Troy right there. Um, and Jake Halling. So you can pause the screen if you really want to read the full bios. Noah Carver. Gia Moran. And Emma Goodall right there. And there's also a little bio for Gose. So there's that. And there are more. It says there's out of 17. So there's more bios to unlock, I guess, as you continue throughout the game. Um, so we'll go back. Um, this, where am I? This option here, when I click on that, is all of the different uh, classic scenes. So remember we unlocked some classic scenes? So I don't have number one, apparently. Uh, or number two. Uh, or number three. But I do have number four. So it's just a little image of the Yellow Ranger there. Uh, I do have pink, Robo Knight. So as I, I can try and, let me go backwards instead. Um, and maybe we'll see some of the newer stuff I scanned. So, oh yeah, scene 174, there's a Robo Knight, 158, Mega Force Team. You'll see there's a Samurai one, so there's, uh, you do get some of those scenes. So, it's pretty neat. There's one in Ultra Mode, all the Zoras, that's pretty cool. So, I do like that. I like that they have those different classic, you know, images and stuff that you can unlock. Um, kind of misleading, because classic scenes makes me think, like, we're going to be watching clips of the show. Uh, but it's more just images of the show. But it's still really cool if they have stuff from different seasons. But to get them is such a pain that it's just not worth it, in my opinion. Uh, this is to view an album of pictures you can take. Last time I did this, my uh, the game froze, and I tried to do it again. It was taking forever. It might have frozen again, but I had no more patience. So all it does is it will just show you the photos you've taken. And with this feature, you can take photos. So I'll at least load that up. And basically, you can also unlock different frames. So here's one frame here. It's You're looking at the camera. Hey, there's me right there. Um, but you have a frame, and you can kind of pose in it. Um, almost like a little card game frame there. Uh, there's other ones as well, like there's one for the Black Ranger I've just unlocked. Um, if I go back, there's one with the Megazord. So just different frames like that that you can kind of uh, collect. So um, just a, another random little thing that you can do. And last but not least, there's a trophies part here. So I'll click on that. And as you progress through the game, you can get different trophies. What is Gose saying? Additional classic scene unlocked. How? I don't even know what I did. Um, oh, okay. I just looked at that image. Thanks a lot, Gose. Additional photo frame unlocked. Yeah, I saw that too. Thank you for that useless information, Ghost Light. You're, you're just as useful as you are on the show, meaning you are not useful at all. Um, so, cleared stages. So apparently, I've only clear. Oh no, I get another trophy when I clear stage 1-5, which is the stage that I'm going to do next. Um, so anyways, those are all the neat little things that you can kind of do here. Um, but uh, uh, what I do want to show is some gameplay. So I know this, this video is going quite long. So basically what I will do, if you don't care about the gameplay, I'll just say that this game basically sucks. The only reason to get this is a card, but try and see if you can find the card on eBay or something. And even then, there's so many unreleased promo cards that at this point, I'm kind of like, it's just not even worth it. Um, so just save yourself the trouble. This game is just not worth it. It's pretty terrible. Um, so with that being said, I do want to show you some of this terrible gameplay. So let's get to it. So the rest of this video is just going to be some gameplay. So stage select. Uh, and slight spoilers, because I'm going to start at level 1-5. Um, apparently I've unlocked some secret stage or something. But uh, So this level is Defeat UFO, so um, they do have some villains and stuff from the show. Uh, you do see, like, Brock, Metal Alice and stuff. Alright, let's listen real to what they're saying here. I don't think that was his voice from the from the show. Like Gose, the Rangers, they all used. Who's an oddity? Give me a break. Yeah, that's not the voice that Noah had on the show. They used different voices, yeah. so that's. How dare you frighten those people? You won't get away with it. That kind of sounds like Emma, but some of the other Rangers, like especially Gia, looks so off, um, or not look, sound so off. Um, so that's kind of annoying that they don't have. I mean, it would have been cool to have the actual cast. Never 
And their voices get very annoying, as you will find out when I play. All right, there's the Red Ranger. So basically, you can move around with the circle pad. Uh, the A button will be slashing your signature weapon. Uh, the B button is your jumping. Y is for using the blaster. And X doesn't do anything. Uh, you can use L and R to switch between Rangers, or you can click on them down here. So I can click on the Black Ranger, and there he is right there. Click on blue, there he is. So that's kind of nice. You can use the touchscreen to quickly switch. Um, you can also press this and use a certain power card. So right now I have a fire card, so I'll use that a little bit later. Um, and every five steps, like, there's always some sort of mission that you have to do. Oh, it just automatically switched me to Gia. All right, let's use her. So every ranger has their own unique abilities. Um, so here's the yellow ranger, as you can see. It's just, like, you're just pressing buttons, just mashing buttons, really. That's all it is. Trying to collect stuff is super easy. It's just, it's just annoying. Um... So you get the rangers popping up in the corner with their dialogue, but it gets annoying very fast. I can hear birds? What? Thank you for that very insightful message, Troy. Oh, another little message. Find every Gose medal. Oh, there's one. Is there one down there? There was. Alright, so let's use a little blaster a little bit and blast these guys. Alright. Let's switch, and let's switch to Emma. Alright, Pink Ranger time. Alright, apparently I got all the medals, that was easy. So Emma can also jump much higher, so you do have uh, different abilities with some of the rangers. <laughs> Troy just said he can hear birds again, big deal. <laughs> Alright, boss battle, UFO, here we go. Okay, apparently she just got hit. Defeat the boss. All right, come on, Lugies. And sometimes, like Troy or whoever, will just randomly show up to help. All right, I just want to kind of show you some of the Ranger's abilities. All right, let's switch to Blue Ranger now. All right, Blue Ranger. So that's what the Blue Ranger does. He can fire a powerful blast with his crossbow there. All right, let's switch to Black Ranger. I just want to show you guys a little bit about how each of the Rangers works. So he has his axe, of course. Or he can use his blaster. Oop, he hit me. So this is on normal mode. You can increase the difficulty as well. All right, let's finish him off, Troy. This boss is super easy. As you can see, I basically defeated him already. There you go. Stage clear. So there's the stage results right there. And I got a bunch of medals and stuff. All right. Finish them off, guys. All right, and uh, looks like I'm running out of space on this memory card, so let me stop this video real quick, and I will uh, delete some videos and then continue recording. All right, and we're back, so here we go. All right, let's skip this stuff, so... Okay, apparently we hit him with a Mega Blaster. That was... That's Brock's voice there, so... It's kind of similar, I guess. Uh-oh, he's growing. Uh-oh, he's become a Mega Monster. All right, so select a Ranger. Sure, let's just pick Troy. Let's just get this over with. Thanks for lending us your strength. You all help me. Thanks for helping me. Um, can you... Is there an option for... This was an absolutely terrible game and I'm not having fun? Let's just pick that one. Alright. Uh, I do want to show you real quick 1-6 because this is a Megazord battle. So I haven't done one of these before, but I do want to show you uh, what this is like as well. So, 
Uh-oh. Something's happening. Is this part in 3D? Uh, yes it is, but you can't see that. So really well. But barely 3D. Don't underestimate us. See, that doesn't sound like Gia at all. Let's use our cards. That's not really even Jake's voice either. Alright, here we go. Oh, snap. Mega Monster. Instrumental theme song? Interesting. Alright, so... We don't want their health to go zero. Use circle pads and maneuver the rangers left and right and move the mega forward and back. Holding the B button while moving to dash. Okay. A button to use your weapon. Alright. Y button to hit enemies fire away. So basically same controls as if I was a ranger. Um, Alright. You can parry the attack counter. Blah, blah, blah. All right, you can dash behind them and enemy zero health, and you can do finishing move. Touch the icon repeatedly to charge up and perform Megazord finishing move. Be quick about finishing move, okay. All right, here we go. All right, go say great Megazord. Uh, deploy, I guess. I don't really have a choice to pick another Megazord. That Megazord looks terrible, so blocky looking. All right, that part looks okay, but then, like the hands and stuff look terrible. All right. Bam! Oh, he's guarding. Can I dash behind him? I thought dashing behind him will make me go behind, like... Oh, I can blast him from far away. Alright, this thing kind of is annoying. Uh, ooh, what can I do here? Oh, that's a shield on the touch screen. I can shield. Oh, oops, I should have shielded there. I can blast them. I can use a sword. Oh, finally, I went behind them. Perfect. So you can either use buttons or you can use a touch screen there and, and fight. I guarded. Okay. It's actually easier to use that for some things like guarding. And he's already defeated. So finish him. Oh, mash the button and... Okay. Oh, snap. The game is just, it's so easy and so boring. Like, that's just the thing with this. It's like, I have no motivation to play this. I would love if the card scanning thing was so much better, because then I would actually have fun messing around with the cards and different power-ups and all of that, but otherwise, this thing is just boring. Um, yeah, even the story is, is just kind of lame. I mean, they use some stuff from the show, and some stuff is a little different, but it's just, I don't know, so annoying. All right. So there's that. Oh, oh, on the War Star ship. So those are their little voices, in case you're wondering. Um, let's escape, because I don't want to continue with this right now. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that. That's basically it. I just wanted to give you an overview of that game. Um, it's pretty terrible, as you can see, so, uh, yeah, really, again, the only reason to get this thing is the card, but even then, um, just not worth it overall. Um, I probably won't be playing this game again after I do this video, because it just sucks, unless I really wanted to torture myself. Um, so there's that, that is Power Rangers Mega Force for Nintendo 3DS, yay! I, I really hope the next Power Rangers game is so much better. Um, the, the Samurai one for Wii was kind of fun. I did rent that, and that was kind of fun. But the handheld one, the 3DS one, is pretty lame, at least this Mega Force one. So we'll see what they do with Super Mega Force. I hope they make a cool game out of it, especially with Super Mega Force transforming the different Rangers and stuff. That would be awesome. Uh, so I kind of hope they make that for like Wii U now and not 3DS, because at least this one is not very fun. So. That is that, folks. That is Power Rangers Mega Force for the 3DS. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, please post them in the comments below. I just want to give you this this overview video. It turned out to be quite a long video, but um, I do want to just give you an overview of what this game is all about, basically. So that's that. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, lots of other Power Rangers videos on the way as well, so stay tuned for all that. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later. Go, go, Mega Force! Breaking.